Hello everybody, welcome back to the Isuzu Ute A-League. We are back here for the grand final. We are moments away from kickoff here. I'm joined by my co-host, Jacob. Say hello. Yes, that is indeed true. Uh, we are moments away from walkout, so we can now turn our attention to the tunnel. As Western Sydney Wanderers, the Adelaide United lineup for the grand final. First grand final that we will have. There is Western Sydney Wanderers manager Carlos MUFC along with his bench. And as we turn our attention to the other side, we have... The Adelaide United bench. So we are moments away here from walking out. And here we go. Here's the Isuzu Ute League broadcasted to you here on Optus Sport. Adelaide United taking the Western City Wanderers in the grand final. Looks to be an exciting matchup tonight. Potentially a very high scoring game on the two teams. And I think we are moments away from the National Anthem. Not 100% sure what we are waiting on. I think there's just some technical difficulties with the music. Uh, we're just going to skip past the National Anthem. We're going to go straight to the handshakes. As we line up here.
And Adelaide United to kick off here. We are moments away. And we are underway here for the first half. Western City Wanderers and Adelaide United. What looks to be an exciting matchup. Western City Wanderers gain the ball off to kick off. Some good passing on that left side now. Ball's being brought up the line, turned over. Good block. Adelaide United's uh, player seems to be. Loose in the head. Good pass through the ball. Adelaide regain possession. Not for long. Western Sydney Wanderers back with the ball. And it's another good defensive block there. It's back out. Switch to the left side now. Put in. Potentially offside, but he's through on goal now. He takes a shot, and it's a good save. Another shot, and it's over the bar. And starts the grand final as you see a first shot from West Sydney Wonder has come out already. Ball kicked over. Adelaide United with the ball, he's through on goal. One on one off the goalkeeper now. Takes a shot, it's a good save, but it looks to be in. It's not going to be in. And we continue on here, it's a good shot from Adelaide United. Like we're going to VAR here as referee Joe Tucker is going over to the VAR or VAR television. We now go down to uh, Jacob. Uh, what's the what's the status down there? Uh, so as we can see, Joe Tucker is just looking at the VAR decision here. Uh, he's just looking at the screen by himself. Uh, still looking like he's making his decision here. He's here. He's making his decision. It looks like a no goal. It's going to be straight back to the goal kick. Back to you, Lachlan. Yep, there we go. There we have it. There is no goal seen in that by the VAR. And we are back underway. Ball's kicked over the top into the middle of the park. Where's the Sydney Wanderers with the ball? A fight for the ball there. Where's the Sydney Wanderers come out on top? Adelaide United regain possession. Looks for an option. Plays it back to the goalkeeper. Min coming out for the ball. He may be a bit late to that. He's going to clear it away. Not the best of clearances, but it goes to their player. Just City Wonders regaining possession, he gets anchored there. Adelaide United back with the ball. Just the City on that wing there, he's tried to play a ball in, there's two there. Can they put it away? He's taken a shot, and it's a simple save for Min. In the goals there. Over the top there, no one is there, so it's going to go straight back to Adel uh, sorry, the West Sydney Wanderers defender. He looks for an option. He switches it to the other side of the pitch. Can they get there? A good turn there by the Adelaide defender, who regains position for Adelaide. Ball into the middle. As the City Wanderers intercept the pass. Being pressured now. It's cleared away. Ball's loose. Play back to the keeper. Who plays it back to the defender. There's a ball into the middle. Blocked by Western Sydney. Again, fighting for that ball. He's still on goal. He's played four. That was probably not the best idea. And Adelaide's goalkeeper's come out and got that. Maybe not the best decision there. Probably a wasted chance. Sydney block, uh, intercepted and it goes out for a throw on Adelaide. Throws it in. Yeah. 
You can see here, Western Sydney Wanderers are playing wide. Looks like Ahmed will be playing it back over to the right winger. He's going to get there. Defender. He lines it up. He misses it the first one. Brings it back. Let's put it in the box. No one's there. Didn't read that well. And back for a goal kick. And it's sent long. Adelaide with the ball now. The very strong defending from Western Sydney. Adelaide through on goal. He takes it up. And it's a simple save again for Western Sydney Wanderers keeper who plays it down the line again. To a free player. No one's marking. Adelaide basically down a player. No one is really there, nor is any Adelaide defenders, but he's left him open. A potential shot on goal. He's taken a shot and he's missed horribly. How's he done that? Bad miss. I'm so close, he's missed it so far. A ball. Played, yeah, played to an open player. He's onside. Lining up his options here. Will he go for a shot? Will he, he takes a shot and it's off the crossbar. Back with the goalkeeper now plays a short ball. Lays it across the field. To Adelaide's right back who tries to get around the player but doesn't. He takes a long shot, and it's just wide. Good effort there. We've got subs called on the sideline for Adelaide United here. Looks like they will be taking off that defender who's been inactive the entire game. Uh, yep, Adelaide United will be making a substitution. Same with, we also have Western Sydney Wanderers making a substitution. We got High coming off for Adelaide United with Benjamin coming going on, and then Ahmed's coming off for Western Sydney Wanderers for for Capsa. Back to you, Lachlan. Yeah, potentially some interesting subs there. Uh, Carlos having to manage game time with the amount of players that he has. And we are back underway after goal kick. Where's the Sydney Wanderers regain the ball? And they cannot clear it away. It's a good clearance. Who will get there first? Where's the Sydney Wanderers keeper does not think he will. It's going to go back to the Sydney Wanderers defender who plays it out into the middle to an open player. He looks for options here. Plays a good ball through. Having it away from goal, but chips it back over. That's good vision. Defended well. I reckon this is a good ball. Adelaide defenders with the ball now. Let up the line. Might just stay in, and it will. Good contest for the ball, but it's going to go out. A city one just throw in. It's 
to play it back. I think they're going to retake the throw. Not seems West is in the one who's making another sub. Now they bring Ahmed back on for Katza, making a quick substitution to bring Ahmed back on. Yeah, definitely questionable choices there from the Western Sydney Wanderers coach. Not sure why he's uh, obviously taken up that time. Only to then pull him off and then put him back on moments later. Well played in the middle. He's lined up the shots. Good block. Well intercepted. It's going to go out for a throw in for Western Sydney Wanderers. Ryan for Western City here. It's played well. Head over. It's off the crossbar. Rebounds off the crossbar again. And it's going to go in. After multiple shots, it's gone in. Goal to Western City Wanderers. Go up here. 11 minutes in. Goal there by Elder. First goal in this final is by Elder for West Sydney Wanderers. And we are back underway here at Suncorp Stadium, the mutual territory for both teams. It seems that uh, Adelaide United come out with more supporters. We'll Dedicated fans coming out to this game, while uh, West Sydney Wanderers, on the other hand, Lonely mate over there. Back to the game though. Let's see Wanderers with the ball played up. No one's there. It's going to go straight to uh, Adelaide's goalkeeper. Picks it up. Plays it long. This is Sydney Wanderers with some really good passing here. It's a through ball. There's an option in the centre. It's played back. Runs it up for a shot, takes it a shot. It's another goal. Western Sydney Wanderers go two up in a matter of minutes. A wonderful goal. From Western Sydney Wanderers there. And we are back underway. At Suncorp Stadium. Two very quick goals. Western Sydney ahead 2-0. Couple minutes before the break. Adelaide United. The turnover. Played back to the keeper. She sends it long, but not very long. It's gone straight to West Sydney Wanderers, who now have another chance on goal. He's dribbling it in. Over the defender. Oh, how's he missed that? But it's back out on top of the box. Lines it up again for another shot. It's another goal. West Sydney Wanderers. Three another goals goal. to the good now. That's another goal from West Sydney Wanderers, scored by an issue, going in, just going into before the half. And we are back underway here for these, uh, after three goals. And Sydney Wanderers have woken up now. Options on the left wing. He's going to try dribbling. It hasn't worked out. Well, West Sydney again tries to put it in the middle. It's a good interception. He's got the ball again. Tries to put it in again. Another good interception. But he's got the ball again. Good defending here. We'll put in. And the ball drifting away from goal.
I believe it is half time here at Suncorp Stadium. Into the break, three 0 for Western Sydney Wanderers going into half time. Uh, what's your what's your opinion on how Adelaide United are playing? Um, definitely a rocky start for both teams. Uh, it seemed that you know no one had really uh woken up at that point. But as the game progressed uh, and started to unfold, we could really see that Western Sydney Wanderers had started to um really find their form and put in some goals and it has proven now as they are up 3-0 so we look at statistics 11 shots for uh, Western Sydney Wanderers not so many for Adelaide United yeah I feel like Adelaide United if they want to actually come back into this game they need to see more attacking play as they look like they're being on the defensive end more than the attacking end in the first half um, as you can see, 11 shots to two, definitely need LA United to pick up the pace, start playing shots on target to see if they want to come back in this game. Yeah, 100%. And uh, we will go to the break now, which I presume would be a very short break. And uh, we'll be right back with you. Are we skipping half time? What's going on? Right. We are back here for the second half. Both teams do make changes with making a goalkeeper change for Adelaide United as Min comes off and they sub in for Teresia after Min's terrible performance and goal. And then we also got flying for for um I don't know, for power power that's coming on as well. Flying and power for coming off coming on for Huzz and and Capsa. So that's the squad going in for West Sydney Wanderers. Uh, for the away for LA United, it's looking like the same team just besides the goalkeeper change going into the second half. We'll see how these changes will affect the game going into the second half. Yeah, one hundred percent. I think we are about to get underway. Waiting on the refs. Strong first half from Western City Wanderers. Oh, so Adelaide has been allowed a goal from that earlier VAR review. So now it's 3-1. So a goal from Western Sydney Wanderers. Oh, sorry, for Adelaide United. They yeah. checked back on they checked back on that earlier. A VAR very review. a very late goal. And it's going to be a goal for Adelaide United. Do you think that's going to be a bit controversial um, if Adelaide United then go on to win this game? I believe it will be. It does shake up the game now as West Sydney will have to play a bit more conservative just because now they've conceded. But yeah, if, it, if Adelaide United do win this, it, it, people are going to be very, very looking back on this moment where they've just added a goal out of nowhere. This will be very convenient. Um, yeah, 100%. We are about to get back underway here. And we are underway here for the second half of the A League Grand Final here in 2022. It's 3-1 as we go into the second half. Playing with Doge with the ball, plays it into the middle. Adelaide United win the ball back. Ball played out. Adelaide trying to win the ball here. But it's played back for West Sydney. who are on the attack once again. Attack closed down. Ball played through. It's a nice chip over the top. Is he going to keep it? Plays it up top of the box. 
Dips it over the top. Adelaide's goalkeeper. No clue what he's doing there. Ball's come off the post. Adelaide United. Uh, West City one just take a shot. It's a goal. A, what is this? A yellow card for... Um, Carlos. Carlos MUFC. Uh, this is... Do we know why, Jacob? Uh, it's because he TP'd one of his players to another one of his players back on the field because his player needed the shirt. So he just had him as big game. That's why he got that yellow card. Yep. So the goal will stand, I believe. And it is 4-1 here. Adelaide United. Not long left to go. We'll need one hell of a turnaround. And we know that's happened a couple times this season. And we have a look at the statistics here. Nine shots on target for Western City Wanderers. Only three for Adelaide United. As uh, Western City Wanderers take another shot there. It's way over the bar. I've pressed the wrong button. This is City with the ball. I'm looking really strong on the ball all game. Played a good through ball. Will he get there? It's tight. He's won the ball. There's the ball in. It's bouncing. Keeper grabs hold of it. Right out. To the left. Hey, it's definitely offside. Into the middle. Looks to be offside. That is so much inside. But they're going to play it. Takes a shot. It's a good save. He rules. Yeah, now he calls for the offside a bit late there from the referee. Ball played over to the right. Done marked. Blue ball to um, Flying Blue Doge. Playing a few ball there, it's gone to no one, but Flying Blue Doge has picked it up. He's gonna go through on goal. Can he take a shot? He's missed that one up there and he tries to slide in. On the left now for Adelaide. Good defending there from Western Sydney. Very patient with that. It's a flu ball. Lone Blue Doge. Doesn't win it and it's going to go out for a throne. Oh, we've got another yellow card here. Yeah, as no. Min Ninja, Min Ninja here is tight for time wasting has gotten a yellow card on the side, on the side bench. Through ball, looks to be offside, but it's through. F has not called it yet. Lines it up for a shot. It's in. I'm sure that's going to be reviewed by VAR. Uh, for they now. will be reviewing it. They will be reviewing it. But for now, there's a goal. And VAR coming down to review it once again. Which we can barely see out uh, from the flares. On the sideline here, we got as so it is on the screen right now, just looking at the play, seeing if it wasn't offside, looking at the previous clip in slow motion, as he is taking his time to make the decision to get it this 100% correct. He's coming, he looks like he's making his decision. It's offside. 
It's going to be 4 1. Goal break. ruled out. The goal will be disallowed for offside. Adelaide United not having a good day. Long Blue Doge with the ball. <laughs> Still with the ball, but Adelaide's defender wins it. Late now out to the wing. He's not even looking at the ball. Straight no, towards the Sydney Wanderers. It was a sub. Oh, here we go. Oh, so a substitution for Western Sydney. Oh, sorry, for um, Adelaide United. Long Blue Doge tries to get a bicycle kick in there. Doesn't work. The City Wanderers in their attacking half, looking for another goal, which could be coming soon. Lines it up for another shot, and it's a nice save from Western City Wanderers keeper. City regain the ball, and they haven't had much chances up front. They just haven't been able to get past that defence. Times they have, they've been offside. For ball, it's a through ball there. He's in his half. This is on side. Nothing to rule out here. He's just gonna take a shot. He's chipped the keeper. It's in. Adelaide United grab a goal. And this goal will stand. The keeper there has had a howler. Trying to reenact Cal the Dragon just then. <laughs> Could we? Um, see a comeback from Adelaide. A perfect through ball leads up to a great goal. He saw, him, saw the keeper off his line and he's taken his chance. And we are back underway here. Let's just see one of want to hold off this uh, play here. Would not want to let Adelaide get any more goals now. All it will take is Adelaide two goals to put them into extra time. And as I say that, Western City Wanderers put away another goal. That could be the decider in this match. I reckon that's it. I don't think LA have the time or the quality to come back in this match. I think that that will be... The goal that sets it all. A uh, sorry, a yellow card for Western Sydney. Contest on that far wing. There's a long ball over the top. He's seen the keeper off his line. It's gonna. Oh, it's a good catch. What a goal that would have been if that was a goal, probably a contest, uh, contender for goal of the season. Let's play through the middle, potentially another goal. Let's put it in, it's a good save. Back out. And keepers recovered. There's the ball out. <laughs> Tries to play through ball, but it's intercepted. Long Blue Doge with the ball now. Adelaide's got the reach, so we earn the ball back. But straight to West Sydney defence who misses it. Adelaide with the ball. Nothing good done with it. He's got his head to it. It's a 2v2. Tries to chip it over the defence, doesn't get there. He's an hour to complete it. Bit of lag there. Through ball, but Adelaide's going to get onto it. They're getting really desperate here. You can see they're all just pushing up now. They want goals. And they need goals if they want to equalise this and have a chance of redeeming themselves in extra time and potentially penalties. The ball is just going to roll out for a throw in for Western Sydney. Uh, now we'll be seeing subs for, for the Western Sydney Wanderers. 
Carlos will be making a couple subs. Looks like Power will be coming off for C Carter. And will that be the only sub we'll see in this in this substitution? And it seems like it looks like only one sub for the West City Wanderers in this in this time. So I'm throwing from West uh, for Western Sydney. Good leg there, thrown in. I'd like get the ball. Turned over, turned over once again. Scramble for the ball here at the edge of the box. Does so anyone has come out on top with that ball? Adelaide United have uh, changed up a few positions here. Uh, their keeper has gone up front. Min Ninja back in goal. Lines it up for a shot. It's a simple shot and a simple save. All over the top. We can see here shots on target. 12 for Western City. Four for Adelaide. Western Sydney on the uh, sorry Adelaide on the attack. Potentially another goal. It's a good interception. Really good defending from Western Sydney. Back to Adelaide's keeper, who will probably send it long once again. Out in that far wing. There's a good ball over the top, but no one is there. Back to Adel uh, West Sydney's keeper. There's over the top. There's three open. No one marking. He's kept them on side. Another chance on goal. It's good defending there. Not cleared away. Yep. Fine skill shoot here. That's brought into the corner. Played back top of the box. Not going to get it. It's going to go back to Adelaide. Not for long though. But Sydney regained the ball. Ball into the middle there. Still in goal. He's tried to take a uh, bit of a rare shot. Looked a bit offside to me. But Minion just made a stuff up there. This could cost him. And it's good defending there. If we'll go down to you now, what's, what's your thoughts on the goalkeeper's performance at the moment? Uh, he looks like he is really under pressure of the grand final situation. I feel like usually mid ninja is a very good keeper, but today he looks like he's very he's off his game. It's like it's just he's cracking down with the pressure of this grand final. But yeah, I think he if he wants to keep playing, he needs to play a lot better than he is right now. He made multiple mistakes, especially that could cost him some goals. Yeah, one hundred percent there. There'll be a sub. Tell me, will be coming on for lag. And we are back underway. Our throne for Western Sydney. And I go now. Jacob, what? How much extra time will we be having? Uh the the referee is will be is discussing about it still. Uh I believe probably even two to five minutes extra time looking for it because there was some lost time with the substitutions and shit. But we will see. Uh, as the referee, it's a goal. goal. Adelaide United, grab a goal. But I don't think that that is going to do much unless we have a fairly long at a time. Where we could see a wonder class from Adelaide. And we are back underway, or we are about to be back underway. And there's four minutes of extra time. So there it is, four minutes of extra time. I don't think that that's going to be enough time for Adelaide to get back into this. And kickoff taken. All played to yummy.
Let's see these two of the ball. Looking to do something with it. Switching the play now. That I don't. I think they're just gonna rest on this now. I don't think that they're gonna really push for many goals. Ball into the centre. Played long. On that wing there. Potentially the last play of the game. Ball into the centre. Doesn't get the shot away. It's deflected out. Going to play back to his keeper. He sends it long onto that left wing. Yummy currently keeping everyone on side. Turned over once again. What is going on here? That's still game. I think that's going to be a goal for Adelaide. That will go down as an own goal. Seems like it's full time here. I think this, we're going to get kick off here and it's going to be full time. Referee says no full time. We're back underway here. And it's full time. And it is full time. Western Sydney Wanderers are your A League, A League, Azuzu A League Grand Final champions. Western Sydney Wanderers 6, Atlanta United 3. And we can see here uh, Western Sydney Wanderers were able to take their chances. And will be crowned 2022 A-League champions. As we see here. The trophy is there. The, the toilet seat trophy is, is to the West Sydney Wanderers. I think we all came here today predicting a win from Western Sydney. They've pulled it off. It was a very comfortable win, personally. I feel like West Sydney had had the win throughout the entire game. Though, at the end, they did kind of keep it close by scoring own goal. But as you can see, your, your first your Season 1 A-League Azuzu champions will be West Sydney Wanderers. Congratulations to the, all their players and their coaches. 100% now we're going to go down for a quick break and we'll get back to you for some post-match talks and interviews. Be right back with you. Come here, come here.